me, 31F, with my ex-partner, 33M, of seven years. I feel intense regret after cheating and losing him. Hello everyone. I'm 31F, searching for assistance in sorting through my ideas. I am aware that my behavior in my last relationship, which I will discuss more below, was not exemplary, but I am eager to go on and make things right, whatever that may be. Part of it is being honest about my situation. Thank you for whatever advice you can provide, whether it's harsh or not. I was in a seven-year relationship with a man 33M that ended about a month ago. We split up because I had an emotional affair with another person for around two months and my ex-partner found out. In many respects, our relationship was wonderful, and he is a fantastic life partner. We had similar perspectives, life objectives, occupations, certain hobbies, food preferences, and so on. We were great friends, and I could always count on him. He's clever, witty, tremendously emotionally balanced, and genuinely has his together. He's also possibly the nicest, most self-disciplined, and one of the most genuine and easy to get along with individuals I know. Everyone loves him and thinks he's a great guy. We've been doing long distance for a number of years, and despite living in separate states, we've made it work. Toward the end, he was often visiting me, and we planned to seize the LDR in the next months, when his work assignment was over. He was fairly stressed with work at the time, and I could tell that he was looking a little worn down during our daily talks and was getting a little tough to talk to me always maintained that some days he simply didn't have much to say and would be a little quiet. For a long time, I had my doubts about our relationship since I felt that we were simply friends and that the spark between us had gone out of existence. It took about a year and a half before I felt emotionally attracted to him, and to be really honest, I'm not sure I was physically attracted to him after that. In the years that we were living together, our life wasn't always that regular. It was maybe once or twice a month at the most, and was becoming less fascinating for me as time went on. He had a much larger draught than I had, and he had brought it up several times, expressing his wonder to have more with me and to make me feel complete as well. I found him to be a considerate lover, and in the beginning of our relationship, we had some of the best I'd ever had, and it was on a consistent basis. The moment he brought up, I tried to increase my frequency but I always went back into the same patterns of not being in the mood and effectively rejecting him the vast majority of the time. Despite repeated requests, the LTR did nothing to help with this issue. The reality is that my last LTR came to a similar conclusion. But in that circumstance, my ex-boyfriend had also become disinterested in me, making the split much easier. As a result of that relationship's dissolution, I had an encounter with Another guy, and I recognize that this is a character fault or coping strategy that I need to work on. My current ex-partner was quite open to the idea of seeking to improve our life together in the future. But I have to admit that I was bad at communicating with him and didn't put forth much effort to improve in general since I believe I was just no longer feeling it and didn't know how to express myself properly. I've been worried about this communication problem for a long time I've realized. My parents are terrible communicators with weak connections and some of my first contacts and encounters occurred when I was very young, which were not the best starting points for me to develop my identity. My ex and I are no longer together, and he has ceased contact with me as a result of our split. I have a lot of regrets about how it all ended, and even more regrets about the fact that it ended at all. During that time, I was having a stupid emotional affair with a guy who is still in contact with me who I really just had a lot of desire for when we first met and who wanted to sleep with me as well. I'm still in touch with him, knowing I was in a relationship. While I politely declined his advances, I'd relished the attention and just continued conversing with him. We are too far apart now for anything to happen. Many of my friends have lately gone on love hunts of their own, and I feel that their experiences have brought home to me the fact that I wasn't having as much fun with my ex as I used to be. As a result, when this gentleman came along and showered me with attention, I couldn't help but maintain in contact with him. Basically, I'm looking for any words of advice on how to go on from this, how to cope with my anxieties, and whether or not anybody else has had a similar experience. I recognize that what I've done has been very disrespectful, and I recognize that I must tackle these issues head on. Aside from that, I'm feeling so depressed that I really want to contact him and try to make things work again but I know I should wait until I've sorted out my own problems first, and that doing so would be really selfish of me. Even if I end up meeting someone I'm more attracted to in the long term, my gut tells me that they won't have the same characteristics as my ex, and I'm beginning to realize where my reasoning went wrong. 
when it comes to finding someone like him again, I'm not sure I'm worthy of the opportunity. He still wanted to work on our relationship before we parted ways, but I was so disoriented by my own thoughts and actions that I couldn't commit to making the necessary changes in my own behavior and thinking. Thanks for whatever advice you can provide, no matter how severe it is. I appreciate your help. Story 2. Every boyfriend I've had has cheated on me. Every partner I've ever had, including my current one, has cheated on me in some way or another. The situation with my present job is very different, despite the fact that I'll refer to him as R for the time being. R and I have been in a relationship for the last two years. I was in a horrible mental state nine months ago, and R and I were going through a tough period at the time. Even while we were eating together, we were becoming less intimate, emotionally and physically distant from one another, as we both progressively began to create space between us even while eating. While I was going through this, I had gained weight and was dealing with a depressive episode, and I was worried that R would leave me since we were always squabbling with each other. A discussion was brought up as a result of our lack of intimacy. That same night, he told me that he would be okay with me sleeping with other women. In return, I requested that he do the same with other women. My reasoning in my head was that if he was allowed to sleep with other women, it would provide him with fulfillment, since I believed he had lost interest in me. And if he's satisfied, maybe he'll compliment me on being a terrific girlfriend and for making him happy via the efforts of others. His continual violations of our limitations and boundaries were a source of frustration for us. Protection of nude chicks, sleeping with folks he was not allowed to sleep with, lying to me, and manipulating me at a sensitive moment are just a few of the things he did. Someone I actually cared for was capable of betraying my trust, despite the fact that I believed he would be the last person to do so. Because my feelings had been rejected and mistreated, I was on the verge of believing that I had been forgotten. This is the third time in my life that a man has deceived. Some people feel that connections formed in their adolescence have no effect on them, but I believe this is not the case. My first relationship was a harmless middle school romance, and that was the end of it. In the seventh grade, I had been seeing a man for so long that I went to a sleepover and made the mistake of allowing a girl I believed was my friend to use my kick account to contact my boyfriend thinking they were already friends since they were. I then looked into the messages and realized that he wanted to quit his relationship with me in order to be with her full time. I made the mistake of allowing her to continue conversing with him, and as a result, I was dumped the next day. My second boyfriend was a ninth grader, and he was my third lover. In the middle of our month-long relationship, he expressed the desire for some time apart where we wouldn't be conversing as much or spending so much time together. I gave my approval sense that was what he requested. After a month, I got suspicious and inquired as to why he had decided to take a vacation from working. As a result, I grew afraid that he was having an affair with another girl and contacted him about it. According to him, he has been conversing with another female he is interested in since last month. So I assured him that everything was okay, and he decided to quit our relationship. Men have asked me out twice in my life as a joke, where they would date me for a week or two and then tell me it was all a hoax arranged by their friends. I've accepted both invitations. Where has my masculinity gone wrong? Why don't the males in my life take me seriously and treat me as if I'm disposable with no feelings that may be hurt? No one treats me as though I'm a real person or a human being deserving of dignity and consideration.